Hello friends, we are working on hips again today. So we are going to continue, if you've seen other hip videos, we have one more fantastic hip exercise. Um, if you haven't seen the other hip videos, be, sh be sure to check those out. But um, this exercise, we're gonna combine a few different um, exercises to elevate the difficulty level just a little bit. And you will need a chair, so if you'd like to grab a chair, go ahead and grab one and then come on back and we'll get started. Okay, so working on these hips today. We've done, um, if you've seen the video where we lift our leg to the side, we're going to do a variation of that, but we're going to kick up the difficulty level just a little bit, not too much, but just a little bit. You'll want to have your chair in front of you. I'm going to have mine to the side so you can see what I'm doing here. But we're going to start by pulling up nice and tall, pushing the supporting leg into the ground, and then we lift this working leg off the ground just a little bit. Now take your heel and lift it up toward the ceiling. So we're rotating that leg in just a little bit. Good, all right. Now let's give it a lift up and down. And we're going to come to where our feet are about hip width apart. Okay, so we bring our foot down, we shift our weight to the center, now we're going to add a little squat in here, okay? So for a squat, we act like we're sitting down in a chair. Again, have your chair in front of you that you can hold on to. So we sit back in the chair, sending our hips back, and then we come on up. Now we're gonna shift our weight back over to our supporting leg, and we lift our leg again, and we bring it back down. Good, so that's one set on, on one leg, okay? So let's try that again. We lift it up. Bring it down so it's about hip width apart. Shift your weight to the center. Add a squat. Squeeze the glutes to come on up. Shift your weight back over. And lift the leg and down. Good. Now what happens if we don't shift the weight back and forth? So we're here. It's kind of hard to do an even squat if we're just over one leg. So we have to have our weight over both legs before we do the squat. And if we don't shift our weight back over, we're going to end up whoop, falling over, okay? So we want to make sure we get that weight shifted. Let's try it one more time on this leg. So let's lift it up and hip width apart, shift to the center, add a squat, back up, shift back over to that leg, and lift that leg up, that working leg. Good. Let's go ahead and try that on the other leg. Now with this one, you get double bang for your buck, right? You get two leg lifts with each one. So it feels like we're not doing quite as many, but we just did six on that one leg because we did three sets. Okay, so here we go. So we lift it up, lifting that heel up, hip width apart, shift to the center, squat, don't fall back. <laughs> I almost fell back on that one. That's why you need a chair. And up, shift over to your working leg, lift the leg and down. Good, big breath in, and up, hip width, shift your weight, and squat, good, and up, and down. Now if you would like to add some arms, sometimes people like that, sometimes it's helpful. Bring the arm up with the leg, and then down, and then I like to take the arms forward on a squat, and then up, and then we shift back over, and lift one or two arms up and down, good. All right, so let's talk about once you have that motion, a way to elevate this just a little bit more if you, if you would like to, is instead of making it very kind of step-by-step step where we lift, we lower, we shift, we squat, we come up, we shift, we lift, we lower. We make it fluid, okay? So this is a little more challenging. So we lift, and then we shift as we bring our leg down, takes more control, we squat, and then as we come up, we shift and lift at the same time. Okay, so this is what it looks like. We come up and down and up and lower. So that does take a little more control, it takes, um, it's a little bit, like I said, more challenging. So don't feel like you need to do it that way you can, that's something you can work toward. But in the meantime, you can lift, lower, shift. So add the kind of step-by-step -step shift and then shift back. Okay, so on this side, it would look like lift 
and down, and up, and down. And if you added two arms, up, and down, and up. This takes me back to my like modern dance days <laughs> where you just whoo, flow all over the place. All right, so that's our hip exercise, just adding the squat in between and then adding another leg lift. Another variation of this one is that you could lift, add your squat, and then shift to the other side and lift the other leg. Okay, so that's an option. You can play around with this one, find something that works for you that you like, and shift and lift. Okay, good. All right, great work today. Thank you for joining me. And watch out for other videos on stretching the hips. We will be doing a, a hip, uh, <laughs> hip stretching video, a hip stretching video. So watch out for that. And in the meantime, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.